welcome back so i can't believe it's almost christmas like this month has been going by so fast i know i keep saying that in like every video but it's so true um i'm actually kind of sad that it's almost christmas i love christmas time and i love decorating and baking and gift wrapping and doing all of that kind of stuff and i'm kind of sad that it's getting close to christmas and that means it's almost over so Anyways, today I wanted to do a little um, makeup video doing a holiday party, Christmassy type of look using just a couple products. So it's gonna be super quick, super easy, and you don't have to use the products that I'm using. You can use whatever you have, but I thought this would be a fun little look to do, so let's get into it. I already have on my foundation, concealer, eyebrows, and some bronzer um, because I can't be without my bronzer. So now I'm just gonna put on a little bit of blush and I wanna use the Anastasia Blush Trio in Pink Passion. And I'm gonna use the color Sugar, which is this baby pink one right here. And I'm just gonna take my brush and just tap into it. And then just lightly apply it on my cheeks. Just for a little bit of color, not, not too much. And then next I'm gonna go in with my RMS Luminizer X Quad. And I'm gonna be using the shade Luminizer X, which is this bottom one here. And as you can see, I use it, I use these colors all the time. That's why they're like so filthy looking. Um, I am obsessed with this quad. I'm definitely gonna get another one as soon as I run out of this one um, because I just can't be without it. Um, see, it just adds like a nice little highlight there. I just, I love this. It's like so quick and easy to use and it's like natural ingredients. It's cruelty free. It's not gonna bother your skin. Which, by the way, I do have a few breakouts today. You might not be able to see them because I tried to cover them up pretty well. But it's because I use this purple shampoo. And I only use it every once in a while to try to, like, tone my blonde a little bit. And every time I use it, it breaks me out. And, like, I don't know what it is. I have two different ones. And either one breaks me out. It's just, like, it's annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose here. And on my cupid's bow. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit right in my inner corner here, just to brighten the area of it. Okay, and that's that for highlighter. So next I'm gonna curl my eyelashes um, and just get that step sort of out of the way. So I'm going to be using my Surratt eyelash curler Have you guys gotten your Christmas list already yet? I have completed mine and I think it's pretty fun. It's all things that are things that I have been wanting for a while and then just like haven't done anything about it. So it's on my Christmas list. Like I really wanted to try the Gressa foundation because I've tried so many Gressa products and I realized recently that I haven't tried their foundation yet, which is supposed to be like amazing. So I put that on my Christmas list because I definitely want to try that. Um, and a few other Gressa products like the um, Eva Lumiere, that one's like the bronzy color. I definitely want to try that one. And then I have a couple products from my favorite jewelry store in Ventura called Betty Belts. They do like ocean inspired jewelry, all handmade with sterling silver, sea glass, seashells, pearls, gemstones, like all that. They have like such beautiful um, necklaces and bracelets and anklets and earrings and any piece of jewelry you can think of. And I had this super cute necklace that I was wearing in like my last few videos. And then I just realized I lost it. Like I was looking for it yesterday and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I went back to where all the places that I was and it wasn't there, it wasn't in the parking lots that I was at. So I'm pretty sure that I lost it, which is a bummer because that was my favorite necklace. Um, so I'm asking Santa if he can bring me another one because I don't know where the other one went. I also put a new pair of Birkenstocks on my Christmas list. I love the Mayari style, which um, has like a cute space for your toe to go into. I just like the style of it. I think it's really cute. Um, and I have like three pairs of them. One pair it is like totally ruined. So that's like my beach pair because I accidentally wore it to the beach one time, not realizing that 
you're not supposed to get them wet and they got wet and then they got sandy and the sand just won't come out of them I've like scraped at them so they're just like <laughs> totally thrashed so those are my beach sandals and then my other two are my good pairs but um, I saw they came out with some cute new colors in that style and I really want I really want a pair of those I love those I never thought that I would like Birkenstocks um, but now that I've been wearing like that style I love them I can't get enough of them So then, now that my eyelashes are curled and they're like in place of where I want them, I'm gonna go in with the Gressa Eye Tint in Cellophane, which is like this beautiful shimmery color. I know it comes up as like bubblegum pink, but it's like just the most beautiful glittery shimmery color. It's my favorite, I wear it like almost every single day. And then I'm gonna go in with a lip brush, like something small and pointed like this. And um, to me, that's just easier to get in where I want to get it. Um, so I'm just gonna take some on my brush And then I'm gonna go in in my mirror so I can see up close I'm just gonna pat it along my eyelid And a little bit into the inner corner there Take some more I also have on my Christmas list this book called Big Magic. Um, my friend Melissa Street, who is an amazing makeup artist, I saw her talking about it and um, she said really great things about it. I think it's supposed to be about like living your best creative life and I thought that would be like a really interesting book to read. So I have that on my Christmas list, along with the book um, Renegade Beauty, which is by Nadine Artemis, who is the creator of Living Libations. Um, she has like a really interesting book, you know, about holistic dental care, which I have read. And then um, now she has this one Renegade Beauty all about, you know, beauty and like natural beauty. So I definitely want to get that and hopefully I get it for Christmas. <laughs> Something else that I'm hoping to get for Christmas is this shirt that Caesar Milan came out with. It's um, a, it's just like a black t-shirt, but it says, in dog we trust. And I, that is like my favorite saying. I say that all the time. I'm obsessed with dogs, as you probably know. And um, I actually have another Instagram page called Kayla's Dog Adventures and I haven't been on it in a while just I know it's I haven't kept up with it but it's like pictures of every dog that I meet that was my goal for it is to be pictures of all the dogs that I meet and then eventually turn it into like dogs that need to be adopted and I haven't gotten to that point yet I need to definitely keep up with that page and get back to it but every picture that I had I would always hashtag um, in dog we trust and so when I saw that Caesar Mulan came out with a shirt with that, I was like, oh my god, that is so me. I need that shirt. I think it's so cute. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like so pretty and shimmery. I love this color. And it's so great because it is a natural product, but it's very long lasting. Like it will last you all day long um, with wear and it's not gonna crease and it's just like, it's such a great product. I love that eyeshadow and it's just, it's so nice and it's so sparkly and I love it. So now I'm going to go in with my Caution Mascara from Hourglass. I'm going to try to salvage whatever I can out of this because there is hardly anything in there. Um, but hopefully there's enough to coat my eyelashes at least twice. I also put another Caution Mascara on my Christmas list. 
because like I said, I'm almost out. And this is my favorite mascara. I've been sort of using another one in between, you know, trying to not use this and save as much as possible. Um, and it's just not the same. This mascara is just so awesome. It makes your eyelashes really long. It doesn't clump. And it it's so easy to remove, like, at the end of the day. You just take some water on your finger and rub it over your eyelashes. And it's just like, oh, there it is. It's gone. You know? I like that. Um, I also put the... Um, Marc Jacobs sequin shadow in Topaz Flash on my Christmas list. I have been wanting to get that one because I saw Sarah Tano, who is Lady Gaga's makeup artist, use that on her in a photo and it was just so beautiful. And so that one's definitely been on my Christmas list for a while. Um, I'm hoping that that comes in my stocking. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going in with my second coat. I like to pretty much just cover the tips of my eyelashes when I'm doing my second coat. Because um, my first coat is sort of like the roots of the, of the eyelashes and then my second coat is like the tips just to make them extra long. And I think that really helps with length. Okay, there's my mascara on. And if you can see the eyes, it's just like, it's so pretty and so simple and easy. I really, really like that. So for the last step of my Christmas look, I want to use my new RMS Beauty Rebound Lipstick. And it is so pretty. I'm so excited to use this. I haven't used this other than a swatch, so I'm super excited. So that's the end of my makeup look. Um, I really love how this turned out. It's super simple, super easy. It's like just, you know, a classic red lip with like a little bit of sparkle on the eye. As if you got the sparkle of snow on your eyelids. Um, so I hope that you guys liked this makeup, this makeup look. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you liked it too. And let me know in the comments what's on your Christmas list. Um, I know that I mentioned a few things that were on my Christmas list, but my ultimate Christmas wish from Santa or whoever is out there is that people will be more kind to each other. You see things on social media and it's just like a constant bombardment of, of people's comments to each other that are just, they get so full of hate and so negative and so nasty and so rude and it's just really sad. People are calling each other names. If someone doesn't agree with something that someone else says, they instantly attack them, they attack how they look, they attack anything about them and it's just really sad. People have been so nasty on social media and it's just like, what's the point, you know? Like, how is that benefiting your life in any way by being rude to somebody? I, I don't understand how people can speak that way to one another, um, like, it's just really disheartening to see people so rude to each other over nothing. Um, I don't know, that's just like, that's something that always bothers me and I, I wish that Santa would help make people nicer to each other. Um, I also wish that Santa would help people be nicer to animals. There is so much animal cruelty and mistreatment out there and it's just very upsetting. Um, as, a, as you all know, I love animals very much, and to see how a lot of animals are treated, it's just, I, 
I don't understand that. It's it's very sad. They have no way of helping themselves in a situation like that and I wish that people would never put them in that kind of situation. There's no reason to ever harm an animal and I wish that people would understand that. Um, seeing stories in the news about people hurting animals or, or killing them for no reason, it's just like, it's sickening. And I hope that people will one day realize how terrible that is and I hope that that day is soon that they realize that and then I also just wish that people would be more kind to the planet this is our only planet this is our only home please take care of it and those are my ultimate Christmas wishes I know that I got a little bit deep there but <laughs> this is like my platform to say something and you know I maybe don't have a ton of viewers and subscribers yet but that's just um, something that I want to put out there and I feel like if I don't say something then I won't get a chance to say something about it. So um, please be kind to each other, please be kind to animals, and please be kind to the earth. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Merry Christmas! I hope you guys have a fabulous Christmas and I hope you have a day full of laughter and joy and fun with your family and um, just make this Christmas the best one that you possibly can. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!